Hey guys, it's Total Pubes here, and hello X. I am a long time subscriber, I think I've been subscribed probably one to one and a half years. Anyway, I'm a huge fan. Uh, I'm here to take part in your race a day, and um, I would like to comment on how you took a day off elementary school to rent this game. Uh, because l last night, my town here in Australia was flooded and I can't go to school today, so I found it funny how we both had to take off days to play this game for the first time. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the Wild Goose. I tested out all the cars, and I returned to the Wild Goose mainly because it's durable, it can be knocked around, and it's fast. While it may not reach its top speed very quickly, it is still quicker than the Fire Stingray. Um, let's go ahead and start the race. Um, I pre-recorded this race to narrow it over it, just like you did X. Uh, that mainly because I can concentrate on the race itself while I was playing it, and also I can concentrate on what I'm going to say now. I pretty much did the first lap, taking full advantage of the brakes while I could. Um, I'll explain that in a minute, but I would like to point out that X, your channel consists of a lot of vintage games, and a lot of classics as well. Even games that no one's heard about like Minecraft, back in the day nobody has heard of Minecraft when you did the Let's Play of it, and when you did it, it brought hundreds of thousands of players to the world of Minecraft, and uh, I don't know, you probably helped out Notch a lot by giving him a lot of publicity and bringing probably quite a lot of the percentage of Minecraft players now to play it back then. Anyway, back to the race. I finished the first lap, now I'm onto the second, and I noticed that down the bottom right corner of the screen I have a little green S or a snake or something. Uh, I found that it's a sort of power-up. If I break while I have one or more, I can have a huge boost of speed and it's really useful, particularly in the gravel areas where you can just zoom past the gravel, like straight through it, and you won't even lose any speed at all. So that's really, really useful and you can probably save about 5 seconds of lap time each lap. So um, if you get about 25 seconds on each lap, you're doing absolutely fantastic. Um, so that's pretty much my strategy. Um, I'd like to go back to what I was talking about before. Um, so, you're probably giving a lot of publicity to the game developers, like the old classic vintage games, and uh, like your powder playthrough. I know you didn't do many episodes of that, but you got a lot of people into that, and it was pretty much an unheard of game. I mean, like, nobody had ever heard of powder, really. It was just one of those games that were just there, but nobody really played it. Maybe, I don't know, a few hundred, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, but... You got me into it for a couple of weeks, and it was fun. Um, I really enjoyed your playthrough. It was funny to watch, and it was interesting to see how such a simple game could be so fun if you use your imagination. But anyway, um, that's not what I want to talk about. I wanted to talk about how you play vintage games that nobody's heard of, and then all of a sudden everybody's playing it. I mean, probably the same with this game. You actually got my mother to play this game. She found me playing it trying to beat your score and now she's addicted and it's kind of annoying because she's <laughs> she keeps stealing my laptop to play it anyway I'm coming down to the final lap and I have to keep using my strategy which is pretty much not breaking for the whole lap which can actually be really difficult especially around some of the sharp bends and I have to save my power up for the moment where I avoid the ramp and I have to press X or it depends on which emulator you have but for me the brake button is X and I zoom straight through the gravel without stopping uh, but anyway X it is a fantastic thing what you're doing with the old classic games I definitely want to see more of it and I'd love to see more of your um, video response challenge things like this one and it's a great opportunity for players like me and many others to get recognized because like you said YouTube is coming to a stage where the whole community is basically littered with gameplay videos of Minecraft, Amnesia, Happy Wheels, Oblivion, Skyrim, so on, so on, and it's hard for, it's hard for new people like us to get started and get recognized. Anyway, I'll conclude the race with 2 minutes and 12.05 seconds, which means that I beat your time by 0.03 of a second, so yeah, I reckon that was pretty good. Probably could have done better, I, I don't know, it actually took me quite a long time to get that score but anyway i'll cut this off here keep it up x and good luck to the rest of the competitors out there